Hi guys, um, I know I posted up a tweet asking whether people wanted me to read my, me my mean tweets. Um, I picked out a few from the hundreds that I have and I thought it might be funny to just read them out. Um, this is on YouTube um, by the username Allah does not exist. Please do porn. You almost sound like a 12 year old ignorant child who says why 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 you came from a dodgy background namely Shiaism their history is almost as despicable as the Catholics don't blame Islam blame your family and your community not Islam may Allah guide you back sister You may do anything, but at the end, you will always lose and stay a bitch. Why doing all this? Just go to bar, give your ass and get fucked. That's what you assholes know to do. Mind your own religion, bitch. Go suck on pussy. Leave mine alone. I ain't giving it to you. Stop now. Somebody save me. This ISIS bitch is gonna get me killed too. Oh my god. Okay, at least the world will know now, if anything. To me, you're responsible. Oh my god, somebody help me. Um, you should commit suicide. What a fat girl. Look at your elephant legs. I like my legs. Those arms looking like Play-Doh. Fail at being slutty, too. Come on, you're in the free world now. At least live up to the standards and expectations of such. I.e. hit the fucking gym. Lol. You don't was a Muslim before. A real Muslim don't left it. Because they know to 100% Islam is true. You are wrong and on the highway to hell. The hell, it's very, very terrible. Believe me. Your English grammar is questionable. People like you do not deserve to be a Muslim because you are damned for hell, exactly how the devil wants you to behave. So you are the child of the devil already at birth. The things you call are slanderous, silly bitch. You have not studied the depth of Islam because you are too stupid to understand Islam. Only people who are intelligent understand Islam. Sure. May Allah destroy you and make you permanent inhabitant of the hellfire along with other ex-Muslims. Amin. May Allah's lanat, lanat means curse. May Allah's lanat be upon you for ridiculing Islam, for mocking Prophet Muhammad. For slandering Aisha, may the curse of Prophet and Allah be upon you. I mean, I thought Islam was peaceful. I thought its tenants were peaceful. You're such an ignorant girl. I feel so sorry for you that you're a victim of indoctrination and your own ignorance. Ironic, hey? I'm bored with you fucking Muslims and ex-Muslims. Get the fuck out of our, out of our countries, you Arabian asshole. We don't need ex-Muslim or Muslim. Just fuck off. I think this was a guy from Australia asking me to go back to my country and I'm Australian. She's not ex-Muslim or atheist. She's probably a Jew or Christian because she targets only Islam and Muslim. Go back to all her posts and you'll see all her posts is to, to abuse Islam and Muslims no matter what the price is. That includes lies, misconceptions, deceiving other deceiving others and the list goes on. Highly doubt this rubbish was Muslim one day. And then I got a few wedding proposals as well, just asking me if I would marry them. This is from Nawa on YouTube. Please come back to your creator before it's too late. If you want to know why my prophet Mary Aisha, who's six year old at the time, then someone that then should ask someone who knowledge about it instead of guessing it. 
What's the benefit for you by doing this video, sister? You just booked a ticket to help. I hope you repent before it's too late. May Allah guide you. Amen. I guess I'll see you all in hell. Your interest is to just develop your prostitution. That is why you become an atheist. Can I enter you, please? You must be bisexual, I'm guessing, since you have zero moral codes in your life. Disgusting idol worshippers. May Allah destroy these kafir mutts. Girl, just get a life. Do something meaningful, not some crazy ass campaign shit of your shitty life experience about Islam. Go do your hair or open up a cafe or at least open up a safe homeless children campaign thing. You are confused, Zara. Let me educate you. May you never believe. Who wants a cockroach like you to worship God? We don't want you, parasite. You think you're the only lesbian in town? There's plenty attention seeker. Will you give me some space in your H-R-A-R-T? I think he meant heart. I student of law and true Muslim boy and then sends me selfies. This is in Urdu, so I'm going to read it out. Apni chut marinam kurdo, please. I think this means your assign, name your genitals in my name, something. I wonder to see your profile. I would like to say that a lot of curse on you, dear. If you have changed from Muslim to atheist, you did a bad deal and will gain a big loss. Life is too short or can be finished within two minutes. But the grave travel is so long and dangerous. You just changed yourself because of this cruel world. Amazing and shocked. Come back. There is change before death. No. Not believing in God is something stupid. Just rethink, please. You're fucking stupid. If you don't want to wear hijab, keep it for yourself, cunt. Ex-Muslim will regret on the day of judgment. They will not be able to speak against Allah. Ex-Muslim are nothing. Muslim revert is 10 times better than ex-Muslim. May Allah forgive ex-Muslim and guide them to the right path before it's too late. Have you ever worked in porn movies? No. I am a Muslim and I want to marry you. Would you ever love a Muslim and have kids for him? I have feelings for you and believe atheists and Muslims can intermarry. No. After reading a few of your replies to serious and difficult questions, I've come to the conclusion that your mind is super childish. You didn't even answer his question here. Thousands of actual refugees need savings but aren't getting it. And guess what? There's actual evidence supporting their demands. Um, I don't even know if this is a hate comment. But basically, I'm childish. This bitch will do anything for a citizenship. Looking for attention. Poor thing. Bitch, you must be really stupid. Seriously. Allah is another term for God. So basically, you just said, fuck God. You dirty, low class dick sucking whore. You weren't a Muslim. You were a Shia. How about you shut the fuck up? I don't have to choose anything. Stop shoving your ideology down my throat. You can't force me to do anything, just like Islam doesn't force people to wear hijabs. And by the way, I see many women in Saudi Arabia without hijab. If it is a Muslim country, how come it is legal to not wear a hijab outdoors? Uh, it's not. 
since I am an atheist, this guy is actually Muslim. If you were in front of me right now, as I have no moral law to follow, you may be bleeding in the floor right now, I'm not going to lie. But maybe if I were Muslim, that wouldn't happen as they have moral rules to follow. Ironic, hey, being a Muslim and typing this down and talking about morality. If you think Islam is bad because it condemns people to hell, then you should hate all religions because they all do it. I do hate all religions. You're a hateful, sad person who desperately needs therapy, like intense therapy. Do you feel like this revenge for the way your parents oppressed you and bumfucked you? Did you think they were doing it in the name of religion? So you decided to go one step ahead and continue to be so blasphemous about it? And you say religion is not a choice? You're a little dumb shit, aren't you? Block me or I'll still continue to put you in your place. My comment about your parents bumfucking you, put it up on, on your story because they've done some serious damage to you. You keep behaving like a child. Grow the fuck up, you little shit. And claiming that I represent the religion of peace, you're dumber than I thought and continue to prove it. If that's the case, then I think all skinny brown girls like you are fucked in the head. Obviously not. I'll have a debate with you, but it takes two to talk sense and logic, and sadly you're not showing that you're on that level. Carry on with your sad, pathetic life then, you little bitch. One day you'll get fucked over, you ain't creating a revolution, I'll watch you fail and become a nobody soon. I guess bitches like you do need a hobby. You want me to find you some dicks to suck? The skinhead culture you represent will just take one look at your skinny brown ass and racially abuse you either way. Either I hope a Muslim steps in your defense or a person of religion or you just end up as another statistic of somebody being assaulted or abused in London. It's what you deserve. Meaningless words to you but that's more likely to happen than you changing a Muslim's view to become obsessed with Muslim hate rhetoric. So do your best. Well, that was just a few of ones that I picked, that I picked out. Um, yeah, I think it says a lot about how intolerant some people are to criticism. Uh, and this was even before I said anything about Islam. It was basically me saying why I left and why I am, I've just got a ticket to hell. It makes me think, do people actually think they're going to heaven when they talk to people like that? Do, you, do, they, do they not realize that there is another human sitting behind that screen? Um, I guess in the end, this just proves my point about the intolerance people have with their religion when it comes to criticism. I think if people were very secure in their religion, they wouldn't be here now, would they? Um, let me know what other videos I should do. I don't really like being recorded, but this was this has been asked of me for the past three months, so I thought I'd just upload it. But yeah, let me know if there are other videos you'd like me to do. I'm not a big YouTuber, but I am planning on creating more videos. Um, yeah.